Hi, hello friend. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole Oyango. I have Fosi here, and when I tell you guys, these sad ones do not know how to handle Fosi. Even the young my hair. I. I want to try. Hello, friends. Yes. We are now friends. In fact, best friends because of posting my videos. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole Oyango and I make beauty, lifestyle, fashion, and random videos. And as you can guess from the title of the video today, I am going to be doing a big job. Yes, all, all this hair is going down. Why? No reason at all. Well, I. There is a reason, but if you want to know why, then stay till the end of the video. <laughs> so welcome again to my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you love what you see. Um, share this video, comment, and uh, yeah, welcome to our best friendship. We are now friends. So let's get right into the video. Now. <clears throat> I know after that awkward intro, you're probably wondering why? Why would you want to cut your big afro? Why would you want to leave <laughs> to cut all that big hair? Well, this is the reason why I'm here. I'm here to give you the reasons why I decided to do a big chop. And hopefully, it will also give you the courage to go do a big chop or to just chop your hair if you are feeling like you needed or if you're feeling like you want to chop your hair for whatever reasons. So here are my reasons. Well, for one, okay, I'm going to start with the secondary reasons, then I'll move to the primary ones. Okay, so <laughs> my first secondary reason was I just wanted to try out a new aesthetic, really. I was just tired of everybody having the big hair. Yeah, I just wanted to try something new with myself. And to be honest, I'm not mad. I really am not. I'm really glad my hair came out. The way it did and i'm super happy i went ahead and did the big job i didn't even think about it i just cut my hair and yeah i like this new short hair aesthetic yeah reason secondary reason number two i just i got tired of going to the salon really because the i have fussy hair and when i tell you guys these sad ones do not know how to handle fussy hair ah they do not know how to detangle your hair properly. They just want to yank it and pull it and tagging and they use excessive heat when straightening your hair and it's traumatizing. Really, I got tired of that. Every time I used to think about going to the salon to get my hair done, it's traumatizing. Nobody should have to go through that. So yo, you guys. If you're like thinking about becoming salonist, please learn how to na handle natural hair. It's not fun going to the salon and having people yank and pull at your hair and acting like they're disgusted because your hair won't become as straight as they want it to be. It's really annoying and discouraging. So yeah, that's secondary reason number two. I just hated going to the salon because they did not know how to handle my hair. Um, secondary reason number three. My hair, short hair is easier to handle. I'm not gonna lie to you people. It's easier to handle. Just wake up and brush your hair and you go about with your day and you run your errands or whatever. But when my hair um, used to be lo long, not that long, but not that long, but long, uh, it was a bit tricky for me to handle it, especially after washing it, you know, the wash day routine, yada, yada, yada. When you had to go to the bathroom, wash your hair, do the conditioner or treatments, then you have to detangle your hair, wash it in sections, then you come out and you have to do the protective styling. <sighs> you guys, for me that was a lot of work. I prefer my hair like this right now, you know. I, I don't wash it as often as people think. You don't wash your hair daily, that was doing it. Uh, I do it like once every two weeks. Once every two weeks, <laughs> or 
Yeah, I do it once every two weeks. So it's almost a month since I changed my hair. It's almost a month since I shot the intro. So yeah, I've cleaned my hair twice since then. And it's easier to handle it this way. So just wake up, put on my coconut oil, rub my leave-in conditioner, brush it, and I'm off to do my business. Yeah, it's easier to handle my hair this way. Reason now we move to the primary reasons. And the main, main, main reason why I wanted to cut my hair was because I wanted a fresh start from everything. You know, growing up I was always insecure about my look. I was always like, oh my god, I look like a boy. Oh my god, my voice is so deep. My voice used to be so deep when I when I was younger. I don't know what happened. I just hit puberty and it somehow softened. So yeah. Um I'm cool. I'm glad it did because I was getting tired of people telling me, Oh my god, you sound like a boy. I mean, yeah, I know it. I sound like a boy. Shut up. So I I always grew up insecure about my looks and my body in general. As you can see, I was not blessed on the chest area <laughs> and I'm quite petite. And yeah, I wouldn't say I'm that fat behind, but if you looked at me from a distance, yo, you'd think I'm a guy. <laughs> And also my looks, my um, facial features. Yeah, I used to think I look like a boy. Even my parents were like, oh my god, you look like your dad. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Get off my back. So, you know, when you grow up with people telling you, you look like a boy, you look like a boy, it somehow grows on you and you get insecure about your looks and you're like oh my goodness i will never look feminine ever in my whole life i always look like a man so i really got tired of feeling insecure about myself and having to worry about what other people think about me and to be honest you guys it hasn't been easy coming from that place to where i am right now and uh, it took a lot of uh, not a lot but my friends helped me get here and i love them so much and you know you have to pick yourself up because at the end of the day no one has your back only you have your back so i just started accepting myself i was like yeah okay i may look like a guy so what they are people too they're not aliens or ghosts so it doesn't really matter and if someone thinks i look ugly or i look weird because my hair is short i mean that's the one problem really because I shaved my hair and I don't think I look any different from how I did when I, I okay I look slightly different but I'm okay with it because I feel more confident now in my short hair I feel happier I feel at ease I feel at least you know I don't have to get stressed and mentally exhausted thinking about going to the salon and having my hair getting young tinfoil you know it's just peaceful and <laughs> it really feels like a big load has been taken off my back off my head <laughs> and yeah plus reason another reason why I did I really hated going to the salon or another reason why I wanted my hair cut was um my scalp oh my god it's painful like on a scale of 1 to 10 it's at 9.5 or 8 because I remember there was this time I went and got six locks done on my hair. Oh! Ah! My head ached for one week. One consecutive week. I got my hair done on a Saturday. My head and hair and scalp, everything was so painful. I just wanted it to stall. When they were fixing it, I had to take painkillers when they were fixing the box locks. I do not know what the person was doing, but it was, I hear people nowadays saying fox locks are not painful, and I'm like, oh my goodness, where were they when I was getting my hair done? Because the way they yanked my hair, I I wanted to cry. So yeah, I hated that experience. And my scalp is just painful in general. Even when I went and got the knotless box braids, my, uh, my head ached for like two days because my scalp is too good, especially this middle part, this part here, it's where I have the most hair and it's also the most sensitive. So when they are parting, they part and part and part, you start wondering, ah, 
I thought I had like five more sections left. Why are you dividing it into 20 more? So I really hate it. <laughs> the pain I hate <laughs> I hate pain. I don't think anyone loves pain. I hated the pain. And also another reason why I wanted to shave my hair is because I really struggled with ganja. And now that it's shorter, it's easier to handle it this way, you know. You can just scrub your hair, scrub, scratch or whatever, whatever you do to loosen the dandruff. Dandruff? To loosen the dandruff from your scalp. Whatever it is you do to loosen the dandruff from your scalp. Um, you know, I scrape off, scratch, whatever, scrub, then I just go and clean my hair and push on oil and voila, I'm done. But when my hair was longer, it was a whole process, you know. As I was saying, the wash day, so I was like, mm -mm, no. I know y'all, I don't know you. <laughs> Personally, I did not have time for a wash day every once every two weeks. It was a lot of work. Three, you had to want, uh, when you clean your hair on the first week, like, see, you're supposed to clean your hair twice a month. So when you do it the first time, three, you're supposed to treat it or whatever. Then, after that now you do the protective styling then after that you remove the protective styling after another two weeks and you now go do the course honey that's expensive and i don't have money why i don't have money see my teddy bear it's expensive and i don't have money so yeah i just feel like it, my hair it's a lot more easier to handle right now when it's like this and when I tell you guys I cannot get my hand off my hair, my head, <laughs> I'm not lying to you. Especially when I shaved my hair. That was, let's just say last month. Because it was on June 11th. Or it was on a, was it a Friday? I think it was a Friday. Or a Saturday. I can't remember. Yeah. I, I just woke up and I decided, yo, I'm going to shave my hair. And... It was the best decision I've ever made. I did not overthink it. I did not even think twice or thrice about it. I just got up and I was like, yo, I'm going to chop my hair. Let me record the intro for the TikTok video. Go and chop my hair, then come back and continue the video. Well, I did not continue. I'm continuing it now, a month later. But yeah, it felt nice. I felt so free. I could not get my hands off my hair and I still can't. I'm always touching my head. <laughs> the one thing I was not prepared for though, it's the cold my scalp i kept on feeling cold i always had my mavic before my hair grew back well i i trimmed it shorter than this before my hair grew back i was always cold i always had my mavic on but after like two weeks i stopped because my hair grew back fast i had a cut over here and it has disappeared i'm going to insert some little snippets at the end of the video and you will see so, yeah, if you are thinking about shaving your hair, just go ahead and do it. You will feel free. It's... <sighs> I cannot even explain it. You will just feel free. You'll, you'll feel mentally free, physically free, emotionally free, psychologically free. You'll feel free everywhere. So, really, if you are thinking about doing your hair and you are procrastinating or you're overthinking it or you're feeling insecure about your looks, remember, baby, your looks... Are yours and how you feel about yourself is what matters so don't let anyone make you feel bad about how you're gonna look after you've shaved your head don't feel like you're gonna be ugly because I don't think there's such a thing as ugly it's just how people choose to look at you if someone tells you you're ugly then that's on them because they're looking at you through a broken lens and that's not your fault it's theirs so yeah those are my reasons for my big top and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did um <laughs> comment and subscribe to my channel for more beauty and fashion content coming your way once i figure out some few details and i will see you on my on my next video yeah if you reached this far comment pitch fuzz for no reason at all comment pitch fuzz and uh Enjoy the little montage coming your way after this. Bye.
expensive and I don't have money. 